then here is this u shaped tube which is attached to the stomach u shaped tube just attached to the stomach now let me mention liver this is the gall bladder the pancreas pancreas gall bladder this is the duodenum u shaped tube coming from the u shaped tube now this u shaped tube receives the food from the stomach here is the stomach the stomach uh, the food passes from the stomach into this uh, duodenum and as it passes through the duodenum the food receives all the juices which are secreted with uh, with uh, this liver called bladder and the pancreas now let me explain you this is the liver, uh, liver duct this one here is the liver duct this is the uh, called bladder duct this one is the duct of pancreas pancreatic duct and this here forms the common hepato pancreatic duct hepato pancreatic duct now the hepato pancreatic duct receives the uh, bile from the liver from the gall bladder and the pancreas and then forms the hepato pancreatic duct and this uh, the juices and the enzymes that are in hepato pancreatic duct they are mixed with the food which is coming from the stomach now the food which is coming from the stomach is acidic as the hcl is present in the stomach which uh, uh, which makes the ph of the food acidic now as the um and these enzymes and juices get added into the food it becomes basic now it becomes basic this is essential step because uh, basic environment is required for the enzymes from from the uh, pancreas and the enzymes which are coming from the other part like liver gall bladder to uh, get activated now pancreas is a compound organ compound organ because pancreas it is a compound organ because it consists of uh, two types of glands which is this is the exocrine gland exocrine and this one is the endocrine gland now the exocrine gland the uh, the function of the exocrine gland is to secrete enzymes it secretes enzymes and the function of the endocrine gland is to secrete insulin and glucagon secretes insulin and glucagon glucagon 